Welcome. Let's take a brief look at the SAP PLM integration for Autodesk Inventor, which is available on SAP's price book and is exclusively developed by Cityon Software. We'll start with this Inventor assembly, but first let's look at the SAP interface, which is a standard Inventor ribbon containing all of the functionality needed to use the integration. Direct interaction with SAP is available to documents, materials, and bills of material as standard functionality within the integration. An additional SAP message box can be displayed, which shows a running log of the process information when using SAP integration functions. The integration can be easily adjusted to customer-specific processes by modifying the configuration. The integration is a standard Inventor add-in, which has been certified by Autodesk. Looking at the Inventor model browser, we can see that the assembly contains multiple sub-assemblies and parts, as well as standard parts placed from the Inventor Content Center. Let's switch over to the integrated SAP browser pane. This shows us the assembly from an SAP perspective. Icons represent which of the documents are managed by SAP and which are not. We can quickly create SAP document info records by selecting a component and using the create DIR function from the mouse context menu. The document info record is created in the background and a new indicator icon is displayed. The file has also been renamed to conform to predefined company standards. From the SAP browser, we can check in the document, which places the Inventor file in a storage repository and automatically generates exchange formats such as JPEG and DWF. We can also change the status. Let's complete this by saving the top-level assembly as an SAP managed document with the standard Inventor save command. In addition to the complete working environment within Inventor, SAP and Cityon offer a more comprehensive view on CAD model structures with SAP's CAD desktop. As the designated workbench for engineers, the CAD view displays the Inventor model as a document structure and delivers relevant information and functionality for the CAD user. You can use multi-select in CAD desktop to perform operations on documents. Checking in the top-level assembly automates the check-in process for subcomponents that are currently checked out. As part of the check-in process, thumbnails are automatically extracted from the Inventor files. Displaying these thumbnails is very straightforward, and it's also a standard function of CAD Desktop. We'll use Multi-Select to change the status of these documents, as well as to create materials. Once we have applied our material information, we can quickly create a BOM from the Inventor model structure. Inventor drawings and presentations can be loaded within the CAD desktop model structure as needed. Let's transfer this assembly drawing to the SAP view and then display it in Inventor. If we examine the Inventor title block, we can see that certain SAP information has been automatically filled in through the integration. The search capabilities within SAP are extremely powerful and flexible giving the engineer multiple ways to search for their data. We'll search for the suspension assembly with simple keywords and load it for display in Inventor. And finally, because Inventor is now integrated with SAP, we can directly access relevant information such as the engineering bill of materials that we just created. And this concludes our demo. We'd like to thank you for watching and invite you to visit our website and contact us if you have any further questions.